Hello my friends, how is everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel, this is Sherry. I hope you are doing well. And uh, today I wanted to see what I could do with a few flashcards. Um, just things that, you know, maybe are not Christmassy, but you can make them Christmassy. So yes, I'm continuing with my Christmas crafting and ephemera making. Let's see, So I have a whole stack of these uh, flashcards right here. They're very old. I got them in an estate sale. And I think the person that lived there was a teacher. So I got tons at this estate sale. I got tons of flashcards. And I have been trying to use them, but uh, I just thought it would be fun to maybe use them in a different way. Oh, here's one here, too. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, randomly chosen. <laughs> and I pulled out a piece of green. This is Astro Bright's paper. So I thought uh, instead of putting uh, like coffee dyed paper or some kind of plain paper to write on on one side to stay with the Christmas theme, I would put this green paper on one side. So I already measured the the length, so about like that. You can see, so a little bit of flashcard shows. And then I'm going to cut it and have it just inside the, the uh, so a little bit of the flashcard shows and the same on the other side. So about like right let me make a little pinch here and then we'll make all three the same size so let's do that first and i'm sure that's going to be you know green is going to be really pretty on the the back this will be considered the back of the card like so it'll be like a little tag to put in our journals and uh, this will be a place to write on because you know you can use a black or a blue pen if you just wanted to Somebody, or, you know, any color pen like that, red, whatever color, gel pen, anybody would want to use, and it would show up on this green paper. It's not, you know, it's just a Christmas green. So let's cut these. All right, got a strip there. I can save a good strip. I am saving my strips, so I'll be sewing those together. Okay, so let's glue this down with a little bit of, let me get my cutting mat, my little baby cutting mat here <laughs> for protection of my surface. And we'll just, this one has some writing on it. Oh, it has writing on both sides where somebody like a child wrote the total <laughs> down here. So I did want to cover, this one has two numbers, so we'll cover this one up first. We'll just put it like that. So that will be covered up pretty much. I think I'm going to get my glue spreader and use some art glitter glue under here so that will spread out nice and flat. Got a good old dried up little piece there. Okay, so let's see how this looks. I think this is going to be just really pretty and make it nice and Christmassy. And then I pulled out something special for the front. Uh, I was looking for something either, I considered a napkin, but I don't have any more Christmas napkins that are big enough. I have some smaller ones that, you know, could be on a smaller surface, but it wouldn't be big enough for these. I already, I used up all my bigger Christmas napkins. I, I, and I wanted something see-through because, you know, I don't like to, you know, cover up, like I don't want to cover this up totally so you don't know what it was. If I was going to do that, I'd just use some file folder or something. You know what I mean? Uh, unless, you know, you don't care about that. But I I like to people to be able to see, oh, this was a flashcard. And look, look at it. How cool it's a tag now. You got writing space and it's decorated, you know, type of thing. So usually I like people to be able to see what it was if I'm using some kind of something like this. Anything, a library card or, you know, whatever. Any kind of game card. Okay, so I've got one back done. This one, um, these are, these were, uh, when I bought these at the estate sale, <clears throat> this was a, it was a very big estate sale. I mean, usually they are pretty big, right? And uh, it was a three, I think it was a three-story house, and these were in the basement. There was a lot in the basement. There was a lot of, uh, that same estate sale I found, Reader's Digest magazines. 
and so many things. I did get some of the Reader's Digest magazines. I got these flashcards. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff, but there's so much stuff there that I just was like, ugh, you know. <laughs> I just don't have room for all this stuff. I just have, you know, I just had to narrow it down to the things that were most important to me that I could really, thought I could use. Okay, I'm going to put this a little bit from the, the bottom. So I have a little bit of like the flashcards showing all the way around here. But yeah, I bought, I think I bought all of the flashcards they had there. And that same estate sale had the Quizmo game uh, that I got that I've shown you before. The math Quizmo is math. So maybe she, I don't know, she must have been, she, she was either a math teacher or just, uh, you know, a elementary school teacher or something like that. Okay, where's my other one? Here it is. Okay, these this, these two are pretty clean. That first one had the numbers written on it, but these two are pretty clean. So, this glue is drying pretty quickly here. So I hope you all are having a good day. I'm not sure when this will be published, but sometime in the next week or two. <laughs> But I'm doing this on Thanksgiving, so I hope you all are having a nice Thanksgiving. I have my turkey in the oven, and the stuffing is ready to put in the oven, and everything else is easy peasy. So my family will be over in a little while later, and uh, so I had a little time to craft, and that's always nice. <laughs> okay, so I've got my green on, so that's what that looks like. Nice writing, nice big writing space. And then, and if someone gets this, they could always put a, add a little decoration over here if they didn't want to write on the whole thing. Okay, so let me uh, get my, what I'm going to put on the front. Just one second. Okay, so I have uh, the, the little golden book, not little golden book, Ideals Magazine that I've been working with for Christmas. This year is uh, very old. I think I got it in the last bunch of Ideals magazines that I got. And the one, the Christmas one that was in there didn't even have a cover on it. It was just, all the rest were great. And I had put it in my shop. And, you know, I think there might be a few left in there, but a lot of them sold. And there were some Christmas ones with their covers and everything. Very nice condition. And it, the pages were in great condition. It just didn't have a cover on, on this particular one. Because, I, I mean, you can see... Look at the look at the color on this. You can tell that is just you know not how they make them now with that pretty those pretty colors. Look at that. I mean, they are nice now and pretty. The the more the newer ones, which are you know what I'm what am I talking about like seventies, eighties uh, maybe. But uh, this one was older than that, and I believe. And just look at the pretty colors here. I just thought these pages in particular were really pretty. So I thought maybe I could cut out something from these and put them on the front here. And still be able to see, you know, a bit of the flash card. And know that it's a flash card. But, um, and it's actually going to be hard because I'm going to have to sa sacrifice one of the sides, right? So uh, I did see this picture right here, which is a snowy scene. And this is a little story on these pages right here, too. But let's, um, there's a snowy scene on this side, too. This one's actually, this pretty, this snowy scene over here. I like that these are smaller, but this snowy scene over here is so much prettier. With this, these houses, like that has some yellow on it and things like that. So I think I'm going to start with this page here and see how far we go with this. Uh, so uh, yeah, I just this was stapled together, so I just took these few pages out of the one I'm using. And I think I will cut, let's see, do I want to cut just out of the rectangle or do I want to try to fussy cut? I think I want to try to first do a little, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my scissors. I can see a little bit of a, there's look, a little bit of a divide here in the color. I might be able to cut it in a way that it will fit and still show some of the the flash card. So let's let's just, you know, all, all we can do is just cut and try it. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. 
I'm going to cut right down the middle here of this picture, and maybe we can use the other half on the other side. Or me on another, not on either side, on the other, on another flashcard. So there's a little fence here. I'll cut right off the top of that fence and go from there. And let's just see how this will look on here. It might be too big at this point, but let's just see. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. So let's see what I want on here. Do I want this with the trees? Because I could put these, cut these trees off and then be able to get these people on there. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, let's cut the trees, the top of these trees off. They're just kind of you know, winter trees with no leaves, so, and, but I, and there's chimneys there, I'll try to keep the chimneys, and maybe I'll cut around this roof line here, and just, there's another chimney right here, so go around here, just try to make all curving, kind of soft edges, okay, let's see how that looks, okay, so you can still see, yeah, this was a flashcard, I think, <laughs> type of thing, okay, that is cute. All right, let's just glue this down. I'm not going to hesitate or even look at the other side because then, <laughs> you know, then I might be sad that I didn't get to use the other side. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, I was, I was on pause just then. I went and checked on my turkey. Yeah, it's doing fine. It's got a long way to go, so i got time to craft. Uh, the only thing I have to really make is mashed potatoes later. i got gravy's ready, green beans are ready, all the other stuff is ready, just gotta, I gotta peel and, I have plenty of time to do that, peel and cook, and, uh, peel and cook the potatoes and, and then make mashed potatoes, okay, so, there's that, let me see, now I, I want to put something on the top, I've got these out, let's see if these are, let's see, Maybe a green one. Let's just see if these are too bright for this. Do I need something to tone it? You know, something more toned down? Or will one of these look good on the top? I would. Let's see, I think previously I cut these off. But let me just see first. Oh, you know what I could do? I could put it over. On, no, I think I would like it. No. I think I might like it over here in the corner. If I put use one of these. Or... I could put it down here. Nope, I think I like it. I think I might, might want to put it right up there. Let's get rid of these little ties. These are like little wire, wired ties. So uh, I want my bow to stay together. This is actually holding on this little like bead right here. So I just want to cut uh, enough of this off, but be able to keep there's like a little. Almost like a little, I don't know if it's just twisted. It's probably just twisted. It's probably not really a knot. I'm going to cut right next to that, but without cutting that off. Okay, these are my little wire cutters, so I don't know if you could... I'll try it with scissors if I do it again to see if it cuts off with scissors. I was just assuming that there is definitely a wire in there. I could feel it, so I was just assuming I needed my wire cutters. But some something like that, you might be able to just use your scissors if you don't have wire cutters. So if I use this, still not sold on it though. I mean, it would look fine, but it just doesn't look very vintagey along with all the vintageness of this. So I kind of like it in the middle though. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let me just put that to the side, and we'll get two more pieces for this, and then see where see what I want to do for the topper. Okay, so two more pieces of book page. So we've got this one book page that we're working on. Let's see if we can salvage any of this piece right here. So I'm going to cut around here and just around this, this little picture part right here. Let's see how this turns out. It's half of a snowy scene. And I'm going to cut the whole thing and then we'll cut it down to what we need and what we like best. That is actually really pretty right there. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, but it is actually really pretty. You've got all the snow, it's a couple of sleds or sleighs, 
little person, a little house, and a snowy tree, snowy winter tree. So, you see that one we put on this side, so this we could put on the other side. It's too tall. I think I would want to keep the snowy fence right here and cut off the top of this. But let's just take a little curve here through the top of this winter tree. Let's see how that looks. It's still a little bit too tall, is it? Wow, it's just barely too tall. <laughs> just like a sliver too tall. So let's see if we can cut a little bit more off there. See a little point here. I'm trying to keep all my edges soft and curvy. And this I would like to be a little bit more even with the other side. So that looks decent. Okay. I like it on this side better. I don't know why. There's a little house right here. And since it's half of a house, it looks better on the edge over here. I think that's it. Okay, so, but this is a weird little curve right here. Let me just even that out. Okay. We might put some trim or something on here, too. If I don't figure it out today, I'll figure it out another day. But this way you can still see that it was a flashcard. So we're going to put this right up against the edge here on this side. And then, you know, I'm liking that green bow when I just looked over there. It looked really pretty. And this one has like red, reddish lace, so our red bow might look pretty on this one. Let's take a red bow off of here. These I got last year at Dollar Tree. They probably have them this year too, I don't remember. And then let's see if this will cut with scissors. It does cut off with just my regular scissors too. So it's staying together. So this one, let's, let's put that over there and see if I like that <laughs> for a minute. Oh, it does look good. Sometimes I have to back away, I guess. Okay, so um, let's see the rest of that page. Let me see what I have left. Maybe we can just use the rest of this page. There's another snowy scene over here. I would like to maybe try to use these bells though. That's up in the corner where there's just uh, text on the other side. And that text is really pretty, so I might even make a tag out of that. You know, I could put this on a tag. I'll have to read it and see what it says if I want it on a tag. I mean, it's, it's nice and everything. I just want to see if it makes sense to put it on a tag or whatever it says. You know, it's kind of like, what is it? What is this all about? You know, does it make any sense away from the rest of the story? Then I wouldn't do that. This little piece I could use if I don't use the other. Well, that's text too over here. And here's a little bit snowy scene. I could put that on a tag or a drawing card too. So this time I want to see if I can use this little bell piece and maybe loosely fu fussy cut it a little bit and see what that. I'm sure that's going to be really pretty. But let's just try it out. Loosely fussy cut. So, I hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving by the time you see this. Thanksgiving will be past. Yeah, my, 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 my older son and his wife and my granddaughter are going over to, I'm going to call it his in-law, his in-law's house for... Uh, earlier like lunch dinner Thanksgiving dinner and but what they have they might hang out there for a few minutes or a little bit but very short because what they have is a drive kind of like a drive not a drive through but kind of like an open house Thanksgiving so they cook up all their food and then whoever comes they can come and eat and then leave and it's 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 the way they do it you know everybody has their own way of doing things and it's just the way her family is, they always, um, the, the wife of that, that house or the mother of that house, uh, it's the way that her kid, her kids are not related to my daughter-in-law. So 
it's a long story, but <laughs> just take my word for it. So it's the way her kids do it, do things. They um, don't stay. They just come eat, uh, maybe talk for a very short time, and then they leave. While when they, my kids come to my house, they like to hang out and play games and talk and, you know, whatever. We play board games. We play... I like these words here. They're different colors and everything. Look at the blue snowbound word there. I just love those words, so I'm going to save that. Anyway, let's see what these spells look like here. I'm sure they're going to be beautiful. We could put these down here, up here. Nope, I think down here. And then we'll put... These are red and green bells. Red with greenery. Red bells with greenery. Red with greens. So, either or, I think maybe the green, because that red is uh, either this magazine is faded or that's the way it was made. Very vintage looking and faded and old looking. Okay, let's cut this one off. We're going to glue that down in a second. But anyway, so that's why my kids are going to have like a lunch over there and then they're kind of come over here and we'll have play games and have our meal here later like a, a late not a late dinner early dinner type of thing okay so how do I want this kind of like that let's just put some glue on here I don't think I'm gonna sew on these but I never know sometimes I just like it needs something and then I'll sew on it <laughs> type of thing let me get this edge a little bit better right here. Okay, so uh, like this, I think that the bow is straight across and the bells are going that way, kind of. That looks really pretty. And then we'll have this bow up here, and and we're gonna go from there. If I feel like it needs something. You know, if I see something that, oh, that would look great on those flashcards, I'll do that later. Or even next year when I take it out to use it and I'm like, oh, these need something. Then I'll add something next year. But for right now, they're going to be just these three. I'm not doing any more right now. I just kind of want to do something a little different, you know, use, like I used, um, well, I used some bingo cards and now I'm using flashcards and I might use some recipe cards or you know, I have some library card, you know, catalog cards. Those would be fun to decorate with Christmassy stuff. So just different stuff like that. Or I could even get out some plain recipe, recipe, you know, handwritten recipes. That would be fun to decorate. Okay, I'm just going to hold that down for a second. So I put it down on the, uh, I'll show you just a second. I put it on the top of this card, this particular one. But not, it's not sticking up over the top or anything. Isn't that pretty? I like it. I really do. Let me see. Did I get some glue on there? I think I did. Let me get that off. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's better. That is pretty, though. That's really pretty. I mean, that'll be pretty in a journal, won't it? I like that a lot. Okay, and there's your writing space. And, you know, it's all made with things... Uh, either from a thrift store or you know from the Dollar Tree, so very inexpensive to make. Let me get, let me find the other two here. Where, what did I do with them? I covered them up with my magazine pages. There's one, and the other one is. It is nowhere. Hold on, I might have to pause to find it. Oh, here it is over here. I put it in two different, two different places. Okay, and I lost my my. I had a green one here, and I had a red bow cut for that one. Let me see if I can. Oh, here it is. I'm just losing everything. <laughs> okay, so I go like this. Oh, I think I had the red one over here for the red sleighs. And the green. No, this had two red sleighs, and this had looked better with green. Yeah, that's what it was. And I used the green one on the other one, so we used two green and one red. But let's put this one down. That is some fabric tack that is now oozing, so I'll just use that up. Okay. 
they're definitely these definitely need fabric tack especially with this glittery background this glitter on the back of the bow so I uh, emptied out my drawer well pretty much emptied out my drawer this morning looking for napkins I re you know I've been mentioning I'm organizing things as I'm crafting and getting things organized for next year but I hadn't really I looked in my drawer for you know as I was making my journals but um you know I need to get my other let me turn this upside down I know there's some in there but not very much let me turn this one upside down and put it back in my box here to drain it down and I got this one over there too but yeah I emptied out my drawer and found lots of goodies in there but uh no napkins like I was looking for napkins I thought maybe I stashed one in here but nope they were all in my napkin drawer so but now I can show I can organize now that I pulled everything out of there I can organize that stuff and put it together like I started a new bag I have I'm gonna put all my ribbon Christmas ribbons together in a bag so I'll have those all together so I'm putting that one at the very top you know, just be barely sticking up the tips over the top of that one. Okay, so like that. See, there's a little bit of tippy tip sticking up there. Let me hold that down for a second. And then um, I found some little tags in there. So I have to get, I'm going to get all the tags together. So they're all in one place. So next year when I, you know, I'll be like, okay, I have 10 million tags. I do not mean to make any tags <laughs> type of thing. Okay, that looks really cute. Okay, now the green one. And the third and last one. Oops. Well, like glitter glue. I mean, tack, fabric tack. You just want to go everywhere, don't you? Let me see if I can get this off my table and use it here on this bow. <laughs> yep, plenty of glue on my table there. Let me see if I can get it all off, too. Okay, there we go. A lot of glue on the table there, big old blob. Okay, so I'll put this one here. Trying not to get the glue on top of it, so I need to wipe my hands off, but let me see if I can get this glue down for a second. This one needs to be pushed down too again. I can put a binder clip or something on it after the video, but I want to be able to show you what it looks like. I can press down like that, like really holding on to the they look cute. They look really cute. It's a nice contrast be between something new and something old, I think, too. Put a little, they're a little, little blingy on there. But there's that one. I think that's going to look beautiful in a journal. And we've got the writing space on that one. So let me get them all out of here, though, actually, real quick for you. So let me move this out of the way. We didn't actually need that, did we? Paper cutter. Okay, so that one, that one, and this one. I like them all. I think I might like the, I think I might like the bell one the best. I don't know. I like them all, but uh, the one, this one first, number one, number two, number three. That's my the order that I like them in the best. Just because I like this this fussy cut. This has a little shape to it. Kind of like a little curvy shape. And this is more of like a, you know, rectangle or ovally type looking piece. But still all very pretty and will look all very beautiful in a journal. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed today's little Christmas craft. And I'll be back with more. I just, the ideas just keep coming. So I'll just keep, until it's Christmas, I'll just keep going, right? So, Thanks for watching today, and I, I will be starting a journal th soon, I think. I think I'm going to make a journal for a gift for someone. So I will be starting that, and it will, will be a very um, eclectic, uh, you know, kind of a generic journal because this is a person that probably never heard of a junk journal before, and I want to make her kind of a junk journal So because she's very creative, and I think she'll be, get a big kick out of it, so... Anyway, and I'll tell you who it is when I, uh, it's not anybody you know, but I'll tell you who it is and maybe you'll understand more when I start working on it. So thanks for watching today and I'll see you in my next video. That's tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow.